Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a general reading for my water sign collective Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for July of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading, okay? So as I split the deck, you have the Ace, the Ace. <laughs> the star card and the page of wands that's the page of one well, page of inspiration is the page of wands okay so divine holy spirit what general messages do you have for my water sign collective cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising and venus placements for july of 2023 messages for the Water sign collective. Knight of <laughs> Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, <laughs> Judgment, the Magician, the Chariot, the Emperor, and the Three of Pentacles, the Star Card. That's Aquarius energy. Everything is working out because you are healing yourself. You're coming up. A lot of y'all coming over the uh, other side of a dark night of the soul. You're healing yourself and you're putting in the work in varying forms. Okay. Um, towards your spiritual healing and things are working out you're gonna you're moving forward you're making progress some of y'all feel like you're not making progress at all but you are with the knight of wands the eight of pentacles and the two of pentacles for some of y'all y'all feel like you're not making progress because your energy is very scattered when i look at the eight of pentacles right here it's like you feel like you have to do so much at one time and spirit is telling you to slow down you don't have to do everything at one time or didn't have to do everything at one time because this is sitting in the the past position all you had to worry about is balancing out that karma two of pentacles but i feel like a lot of y'all 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 really didn't understand what was going on with that knight of wands right there at the beginning of your spiritual journey but i guarantee you know what's going on now you know what a dark night of the soul is now oh <laughs> water sign collective with the ace of wands here a lot of y'all have been getting downloads a lot of y'all have been having heightened spiritual activity that's all i'm going to say about that and you're realizing oh okay i'm getting spiritual upgrades i'm getting prepared for something my spiritual gifts are heightening i feel like a lot of y'all understand that now a lot of y'all taking the energy, whether it be cosmic or spiritual energy, or even the negative energy coming from folks right here in the 3D realm. I want to get you lost in the sauce. And you're transmuting it to help you out on the 3D realm. It's like, man, let me see what I can manifest. A lot of y'all are tapping into manifestation, law of attraction 101. Some of y'all doing it on purpose. Others of y'all are manifesting good things and don't even realize that you're manifesting good things. A lot of the manifestations that are coming is because you've been doing the spiritual work. You're on your spiritual journey. So if you came to this reading wondering, what the heck am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? The answer is yes. You are becoming like the magician and you're transmuting everything that's thrown at you, good, bad, or indifferent. And you're making it into something that you can use to empower yourself, okay? With the chariot, like I said, you're moving forward on your journey. You don't seem to think so because you're like, ooh, this energy is too much. What is this? Look at how this person is looking on this card. Like, everything is coming to them when they need it. For some of y'all, y'all need to work on your solar plexus chakra, okay? Because that's hidden here right there, okay? So, for a lot of y'all, you need to work on your root and your solar plexus. But I feel like that's once scattered energy with the eight of pentacles is now coming more stable within you and you need to work on your core for some of y'all okay um i feel like whatever spiritual energy 3d energy or whatever type of energy you're receiving is helping to level you up it's helping to get some things to work for you moving you forward on your journey 
for some of y'all, y'all going to meet some people who are going to, that you're going to collaborate with. Three of Pentacles talks about collaboration, communication, and building of things. So some of y'all are going to meet some people on your path that will help you to level up or get to where you need to be on further down the line. But I feel like some of y'all are really a little bit closed off to people. So that's why I feel like Spirit is working with you now as you come out of your dark night of the soul to be open to meeting new people especially for my creatives okay uh if you are an empath and you're very creative you like oh people you but like <laughs> spirit is trying to get you to be like oh, okay now listen you have to i'm gonna send some people your way to help you out okay but you got to be open to meeting new people and that's what i feel like the emperor is you uh being open to meeting new people and working with new people collaborating with people because these people might have some keys to whatever creative projects you need they're going to be some of your main supporters some of your main people and i feel like spirit is letting you know that right now so you can get prepared okay or it's preparing you now okay for some of y'all y'all very shy and spirit wants you to be more charismatic like the emperor okay and i feel like that's going to be a task for some of y'all okay i'm just saying all right divine holy spirit what additional messages do you have for my water sign collective for july of 2023 let's see here okay we have wishing for some of y'all it's literally like you've been wishing hoping and praying for things to align for you now they are okay for some of y'all y'all been like um some of y'all have been doing some scrying or been work doing some um, mirror magic or mirror magic will be great for you to work with. I don't know why I looked at that like that, but that's what's coming to me, okay? Because that looks like a portal, I'm just saying. And she's right there at a well, wishing well. For some of y'all, y'all might have been to a fountain and tossed in a coin and said something, a prayer, or said something that you hope will happen. And it's probably finna about to manifest for you really soon and you don't even realize it, okay? But spirit wants you to delve deeper into into your shadow work. And for some of y'all, that might be through mirror magic. Look that up, okay? Uh, for some of y'all, it might be through um, just communing with yourself more through meditation. Reflection uh, is a good way to heal and transmute energy as well. If you haven't been doing that, I suggest that you do it. But do it in a way that works for you. I can't tell you how many times to meditate a day, uh, how long, but do what works for you. Okay? I'm just saying. Okay, so that is all I have for my Water Sign Collective, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements uh, for your general reading for July of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.